I've got epoxy over the bare spots that I'd gotten um, a little too carried away with when I was sanding. So cab's ready to be uh, coated again, and that's what I'm mixing up right now is uh, a little bit of high build. So I'll bring you back when I get it on. Okay, I just finished spraying. I still got my mask on because it's uh, uh, pretty nasty in here right now. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry. I'm probably done for the night, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to it again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I'll probably uh, sand down to 180 or 220. I'm not sure if I want to go straight to 220 yet. So, all right, that's it for now. Every single one of these offices looks exactly the same. I've been in like a million of them since what four years ago when all this shit started. So anyway, it's been exactly the same. Same 1990s uh, paintings on the walls and nothing much. All right, good news. Another six months and I can come back here and uh, get checked out again. Next time will be four years officially since. Uh, this whole cancer bullshit had started so anyway i'll have a, another pet scan right around then but everything looks great right now and i'm on my way to go find something to eat some bad food i think all right catch you later all right here's another uniquely new jersey kind of thing um in order to make a left hand turn up here on the upcoming road i actually enter what they call a jug handle and i find these extremely annoying because you have to turn right in order to go left like right there at that intersection and one turn left. But they force you into one of these. And then you sit and wait and then you cross over. It's a pain in the butt. But whatever, New Jersey's freaking weird. Gonna miss it a little bit, I guess. Okay. All right, let me see if I can do this without my shadow getting in the way. All right, so what I got here is one of my um, hood brackets and I've got one of the hubcaps. The hubcap was uh, um power coated about a year ago I really really like that color and when I compared this to the medium gray on the uh, BASF fleet color book that's what it looked like so that's what we went with and and um, I don't know you know when I had it mixed up a week ago a couple days ago actually this is what I got so I know it's kind of there's a primer on this uh, paint stick but that's the color I got. I don't know if you can even see it here. Um, it's identical to the primer because what I got going on here, this is primer. This is that uh, that Trendstar primer that I use. I mean, this is a piece of scrap now. I'm replacing this. Um, and that is the medium gray on, on this uh, bracket. And I didn't like it. I don't like it. So I went back up to my paint store and took the, the gallon can with me and he added some black and got pretty close to this so um, this is pretty pretty much set to what I'm going to use on the truck I know it was a question of what are you doing it's a flat color it's not it's not um, metallic at all so I intend to do uh, a little bit of like fine line work in here maybe if I can find some vinyl letters I'll stick those in there if not I'm just going to paint them but anyway that's that's what I got going on there um, what I got going here this is actually the paint. Um, I have a hard time with uh, gallon cans. I keep spilling them, so I, you know, they're half and half. I'm gonna mix these together since he uh, added more black to each. He, you know, did it by the weight, but um, just to be sure that that can and this can are gonna have the same color, mixing them both, and then I'm gonna pour it into um, those. So I've got several of those so that, uh, you know, the, the color will be consistent between the gallon into these. Um, I, I just can't lift up the gallon size without a handle. I keep dropping it. So here's another thing I did too is I went to Lowe's and I got a gallon can with a handle. And I'm going to go and uh, pour my um, high build into this because the, the high build container does not have a handle on it. And I keep spilling it all over the place. So anyway, really that's what I'm going to do here right now is just get these mixed together and um, get rid of the old cans that I can't really use no more. So I'll bring you back when I get some more work done. Okay, contents of the two half gallon containers are safely in these four little cork containers. I do have a little bit left in that bottom one there, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and leave in that can. Um, 
and use that first I think uh, just just to uh, use it up I don't want I don't want to um, waste it and it won't fit in these so I'm just gonna leave it in that one can and then toss the other can after it dries out so I've already done my uh, high build over there as well I've um, got most of it out I mean, there's just a tiny tiny little bit back, back in there but wrote the information on the can and I plan on doing this again when uh, I go to buy another container but uh, anyway saving me a huge mess and I just made myself a little paint box because I didn't have a uh, paint tray so and uh, anyway what really what the problem is is that I've got tendon of nice and both wrists and I had to go get a core zone shot in there earlier um, just so I can move my wrists and uh, yeah the, the doc was kind of laughing at me he's like well it's not normal for you to get it in both wrists and I'm like well the left wrist had a sympathy pain for the right wrist so anyway this is uh that's the plan dark color right here that's what I want that's what I got now I have this color so here uh, I'll bring it back out in the sun here in a second let that paint stick dry all right so here is that paint stick that I uh used with the can so you know what? I'm gonna walk out into the sun now it's um hard to see in the, in the shade so he added a bunch of black to it and this is what I got I mean it to me it's pretty freaking close and I think it's good so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that I like a little bit of darker it's it's um it's a nice compromise between the the light colored one that I had and this super dark one so I actually kind of prefer what's on the paint stick so anyway that's what I'm gonna go with um all right, give me a second here. All right, I hate doing these long uh, videos to you guys because I know your attention span not not necessarily always there, especially mine's not. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna close off this video, but uh, show you what I'm doing here. I'm uh, using 180 on the uh, the cab roof right now. Um, blew through blew through part of the uh, the high bill. I don't know if I can see it. There it is right there. Blew through the high bill a little bit and. Um, went down to bare metal so now I'm gonna have to uh, put a tiny bit of epoxy on there that tiny little thing I wish I had like a detail paint gun for this because uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to you know get that whole big paint gun um, all cleaned up and when I'm done with it so it's a lot of wasted paint but anyway I'm gonna close it off you guys have a good one and I'll bring you back later on this week when I get some more work done I love having a week off this is awesome all right you guys take care